Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound, grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The Islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir.
Hmm. Lady Morange tells me that a delegation from the Devesp family just landed on the island. Isn't that the family who rules over Peren? From what I've heard, they're not good company. I've never ferried them myself, but it's said they are treacherous assassins. I wonder why they're here. We should talk to Lady Morange. She'll be able to tell us more.
Ah, Sir de Sade. Did you get my message? Indeed. The arrival of the de Vesp family in Tier Fredi is surprising and no doubt worrying. But without knowing their intentions... Nothing good can come from that family for the interests of the Dorsey family and Serene. But I truly cannot tell you anything about the reason for their presence. The message I received was brief. Aurelia de Vesp announced her arrival on the island and asked to see your cousin as soon as possible. She and her entourage seem to have settled in a region that I do not know. Adag Ol Credo, north of Vic Shadir. I think it would be good for you to locate her and try to find out more. I know the place. It's close to a cove that we sometimes used to get supplies. We stopped using it when we lost a ship there. But I've never set foot there. I seem to remember the natives considered the region as sacred. You should also take advantage and visit these unknown lands. Who knows what they have in store for us. You're right. It's better for us to go and see what it's all about. Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps.
poison on my blade. Then let's go!
Indeed. Delighted to meet you, Your Grace. The accounts I've been given of you and your companions don't do you justice. Truly, it is a pleasure. We're going to become wonderful friends, you and I. I'm sure of it. Say, aren't we going to be cousins soon? Pardon me, Your Grace, but I'm not sure I follow. And if I may ask, what is it precisely that brings you to this remote island? Haven't you heard? Well, <laughs> it seems the messengers on this island are not particularly reliable. No matter. Your uncle and my father have decided that your cousin, Prince Constantine, and I are to be married. So, here I am. <sighs> my. This is... <sighs> incredible news. I know you must be surprised. However, this alliance will be a wonderful way to put an end to the enmity between us, don't you think? But I must inform you that... Sadly, my cousin, he's disappeared. We believe he may have been kidnapped. Oh? What horrible news. Uh, do you know who's responsible? I assume an investigation is underway. Of course. And I'm involved in the investigation. Every effort is being made to find the governor. <sighs> well, I'm most reassured that you're in charge. I'm sure you'll find him quickly, and that will soon be wedded as planned. Then, you and I will be cousins, of course. Furthermore, I was hoping I might be able to count on your assistance. Of course, Your Grace. What can I do for you? You see, I didn't want to impose myself on New Serene until all the necessary arrangements had been made for my arrival. I had the Noughts drop us off in a quiet place outside the city. Too far outside the city, clearly. There were these savages and bandits skulking around the woods and threatening us. They even robbed me. Worst of all, they took the chest in which I was keeping the marriage contract. We try not to use the term savages. We're on their land, after all. And the congregation's aim here is to do business. Right you are. Please excuse me. I'm still not entirely used to these new surroundings. In any case, it's absolutely mortifying to have to ask you this, but you know the island and its inhabitants better than I do. Could you perhaps retrieve the chest for me? I would be eternally grateful, cousin. I won't deny that I'm surprised to hear about your engagement to my cousin, despite the excellent reason you put forth. Surely you didn't think your cousin would stay single forever. Know that although the decision was not my own, I'm very pleased about it. I got the impression your uncle thought a wedding might calm your cousin a little. And now that he's in the role of governor, he needs a wife of his standing. My father saw an opportunity to get me away from Peren, where I was in great danger, and found me a worthy husband in the process. But again, it's clear that their main intention was to put an end to years of conflict. Is there anything else? Can you tell me more about the theft? Of course. We were unloading our things from those horrid little boats that the Noughts get about in when it was taken. I was busy setting up camp at the time, so I didn't see who it was. My men didn't see much either, because it was dark. But certain natives from the region stopped by in the morning. They were aggressive and insisted that we leave. <laughs> I'm sure they were behind the robbery, unless it was just bandits. There were a couple that my men chased away, but that's all I know. Thank you. We'll get about finding it. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. Prince Dorsey would marry his son to that princess. His father may not much like Constantine. But not to the point he would consent to him marrying a family's worst enemy. I can't believe it either. There is too much rancor between our families. You know your family's political schemes and your uncle much better than I. If you think there's room for doubt... Yes. I suggest we examine that wedding contract closely.
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go!
To my help! And death to the others! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Poison on my brain! And let's go! If I've understood correctly, the chest was here when it was stolen. Ah, there are footprints which lead away from the camp. Other footprints here. They're quite deep, as if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. The undergrowth has been crushed. Several people pass through here. Footprints seem less hurried. The thieves must have felt safer here. We must be getting close.
the outlaws were either very bad fighters, or they were taken by surprise. They didn't even defend themselves. That's true. We should look around before returning Aurelius' chest. This campfire is strange. The ashes and embers are laid out as they should be, but the ground beneath them is untouched. This campfire has not been used. It seems as though it was just laid out as a prop. The poor souls didn't enjoy their loot very long. The Devesp coat of arms. This must be the chest Aurelia asked us to find. Is there any way to open it? We could examine this contract of hers. I can't see a lock. And we'd be hard pressed to explain why we broke it. We'd better bring it back untouched. Wait. Look, there seem to be soldiers over there. We should observe them before jumping into their arms. I'm troubled by this fake campfire. It casts a strange light upon this whole affair. We'd best go back to the camp and return the chest. Wait. Look, there seem to be soldiers over there. Seems they're Aurelia de Vesp swordsmen. I'm afraid it is now beyond doubt. These men were sent to ambush us. Aurelia sent us to recover that chest solely in order to get rid of us. <sighs> we should teach those assassins and their mistress a lesson. But since we spotted them, if you'd rather avoid trouble. suppose that would be frowned upon. She'll have to answer for this. But, given the power of her family, we must remain polite. I didn't think I'd see you again. So soon. Is that because you'd hoped we'd be clawed to death by those beasts? Or because you thought your assassins would get the better of us? Come now, who do you take me for? I was just putting your courage to the test, that's all. A princess's whim. <laughs> 
I kindly suggest you forget all about this little incident. You see, my dear, we de Vesps have a habit of knowing as much about our enemies as our friends. I'm afraid my father's men have obtained some rather sensitive information, which, well, if the other governors were to find out, it could very well jeopardize your position, along with that of the Dorsay. If word were to get out about your origin, for example... Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, what a horrid word! <laughs> Come now, I would never do such a thing. Let's just say that I'm ensuring your loyalty. In fact, some of my men are already at the courts of Hikmet and San Mateus, and ready to act if you try anything. But I'm sure it won't come to that. We'll soon be part of the same family, after all. Why do you feel the need to resort to blackmail? You have your contract. Why threaten me? My sweet summer child. You seem to have learnt to navigate the seas of politics in a duck pond. My waters, however, were shark infested. Knowing the weaknesses of others, as well as how and when to exploit them to ensure unwavering loyalty, is key to survival as a divesp. I believe I mentioned that my late husband was murdered at court. Well, his killers worked for my brother. My own brother didn't think twice before having the man I loved killed to secure his position. He broke my heart. I understand, of course. I'd probably do the same. And what of it? Do you think I would feel more remorse where it's, say, a cousin-in-law? Is there anything else? What are your intentions? Surely you're not going to all this trouble just to marry my cousin. And why not? Your cousin's quite the catch, you know. But you're quite right. I want more than just a new husband. I want a place where I can showcase my talents. A place to shine. Who knows? As a governor's wife, I could even become the new legate and try my hand at diplomacy. Unless I decide to keep you, of course. That is, if you promise to serve me well and aid me in expanding our influence on this island and beyond. The Divesps have long worked in the shadows of the congregation. No more. I hope that answers your question. Is there anything else? Here is your chest. This is the one you sent me to fetch. Yes, that's the one. Thank you for your help. You have shown yourself to be as reliable as they say. Long may it continue to be the case. Well, now that I've recovered my precious documents, You'll be able to deliver the wedding contract to your cousin in New Serene. I await the preparations for my arrival and accommodation. Then there'll be plenty of time to prepare the ceremony with my husband-to-be. The arrival of a noble lady such as yourself will require several arrangements. New Serene is a very new city. Yes, I'm sure. Don't dither for too long now. I'm counting on you to be as quick as possible. And to convince your cousin and his men to be reasonable. You know what's at stake. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. She has us. We now have the contract, but even if it does turn out to be forged, we have no choice but to bend to her will. Damnation. She's a thorn in our side. I wonder what she knows exactly. Sadly, all families have their secrets. And whichever one she holds would be enough to put our family at risk. We must get those documents back. Let's go to Hikmet and San Mateus and take the wind out of their sails. After that, we can settle our score with her. You're right. It's the only way to put an end to this alliance and supplant the Viper.
Your Excellency. Her Highness... Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp of the Merchant Congregation has sent me to convey her regards. She would like to assure you of her deepest respect and her unwavering support as an ally with any troubles you may encounter. She also wishes to forewarn you that the person who until now presented himself as the congregation's legate may soon lose his position. Indeed, he is believed to have lied about his lineage and doubt has now been cast upon his titles of nobility. It is also rumored that he is engaged in questionable dealings involving the guilds and the natives. We sincerely hope that, until this situation has been clarified, you will treat him with the utmost suspicion. Naturally, if these allegations prove to be true, a new legate will be appointed by Her Highness immediately. This situation is regrettable, but hardly surprising. I cannot deny that our dealings with the legate have often been wrought with a lack of elementary diplomacy. And what you are telling me merely confirms my suspicions. But look, here he is. Sir, in light of what I've just heard, you are not welcome here. At the very least, until these allegations are confirmed. We were thrown out like trash. I can't believe that Viper's claptrap got us into this mess. How will we discover where those documents are now? I must admit, it was humiliating. But now, we can give her a taste of our own medicine. I say we follow her, and once we discover her lair, finding those incriminating documents shouldn't be a problem. You! You dare follow me. I may be overstepping my orders, but you asked for it. Oh. What rotten luck. Let's check the note she left with the merchant. We might find out where she's hiding. Dare follow me. I may be overstepping.
Here come the Divest ambassador and her henchmen. Let's hide. We might let slip the location of the documents. Then we'll know where to find them. Ambassador? Did your meeting with the governor go well? The meeting went very well. The governor was so incensed by what I told him that when the legate arrived unannounced, he was immediately thrown out. It seems that our representative on the island has not found favor with the other governors. It was about time our mistress intervened. However, the legate's presence is problematic. I did not expect him here so soon. Special care must be taken to better hide our documents. If they search the old farm under the cliff, he or his comrades could well find them. Tomorrow morning, we must move them to a safer hiding place. In the meantime, we must rest. As you command, Ambassador. Damn it! It was a trap! A bit of poison on my blade! Let's go! Let's see if you can face <laughs> my blood! <laughs> Things are about to get dicey! There are some documents, but it's not the evidence Aurelia spoke of. These documents speak of you. It appears that the Divesp sought out information on each of you, hoping to influence you or to drive a wedge between us. I can only imagine the heap of garbage it must contain. I hope you know me well enough not to take that filth seriously. This is just further proof of their deceit. And the so-called evidence got away again. Let's search these men. We may find something useful. According to this letter, the chest was given to a merchant in town who deals with the Divesps. He was ordered to hand it to the governor if something happens to the delegation. If we get it back before the merchant sets it off, everything will be fine. Hello. Are you Valens? Indeed. Uh, what can I do for your lordship? Are you looking for tools for your workers? I have a large range of tools. Everything you need for mining or timber harvesting. I have no interest in your goods. I have been sent by Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp. She asked me to recover a chest you have in your keeping. Really? I didn't know that the famous legate de Sardé worked for Her Highness de Vesp. I'm sorry, sir, but I was explicitly warned about you. I cannot give you this chest. Do you really want me to call on the governor's guards? Why would they intervene? Since when is it against the law to keep a chest for someone? And do you really want the local authorities to get involved? From what I've heard, this chest means trouble for you. Not to mention the fact that, to my knowledge, the governor doesn't consider you a saint. Anything else? I must leave. Good day. Have a good day. Damn it! 
It was a trap. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Let's see if you can up my blood! Let's see if you can ward off this fight! There are some documents. Uh, this. Let's... According to this letter, the chest was given to a merchant in town who deals with the Devesps. He was ordered to hand it to the governor if something happens to the delegation. If we get it back before the merchant sends it off, everything will be fine. Hello. Are you there? Indeed. I have a lot. I have no int. Of course, of course. I hope you tell me. Do not worry. Hello. Are you the guard who left me a message at the embassy? Greetings, Your Excellency. Yes, it was me. I thought you should be warned when I saw those vermin bearing the Devesp livery. This is indeed interesting information. Do you know if they're staying in town? The delegation leader is always at the tavern. He drinks heavily. His men wander around town looking for trouble. Thank you. I imagine you're expecting a reward. No, Your Excellency, keep your money. I'll consider myself highly rewarded if you manage to put a stop to their horrible, manipulative plans. My old battalion was almost completely lost to those vipers. They led us into a trap and left us to rot. So I don't know what you wish to do to them, but I wish you the best success.
Hello. I wonder if we might have a word. Desade. The Dorsey family's henchmen. I knew it. I knew I would meet my end by accepting this mission. After what you did to Ambassador Lavoisin in Hikmet. If the Ambassador and her men had not attacked me, they would certainly still be alive. Since you know who I am, you must know why I'm here. Yes. The document chest. But don't think you can scare me into giving it to you. I've been scared to death since I got to this town. Since I got to this island. But I will not betray them. Khan, we never wished you harm. We only want to recover some files. They do concern us, after all. Tell us where they are. A huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. That's true. Does it even matter? I don't have the chest anymore. I gave it to a group of inquisitors who don't like you very much. Those fools are so furious that they'd rather die than give you the chest. And Saint Matthias is with them. So, they're hiding out in one of the warehouses around the port. If you really want to confront them, it's your own choice. But you should say a prayer first. So you found us, but don't rejoice too soon. You will not leave this warehouse alive. Come, I'm sure we can work this out. I only want the Devesp chest. Don't count on it. Some of our followers may tolerate your influence, but because of your close ties with our enemies, we will not. We wanted to use these documents to undermine your power, but since the Enlightened has brought you before us, he must want you dead. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Do you have face, woman of the
What are these posters? They weren't here before. I'd love a bit of good news for a change. Let's take a closer look. What is this nonsense? Another divest trick. I'll truly stop at nothing. These posters could cause a full-scale riot. We must stop them from spreading around town. The crowd is restless. It must be because of these posters. If we do nothing, the situation could get out of hand. I say those posters tell the truth. We should demand a new governor. And this one should be sent to court. It's just a matter of being informed. My cousin knows one of the governor's guards, and she told me it was all true. Lady Marange, there's a true governor, and she's never put a foot out of line. Where is this? Greetings, madam. Did you happen to see, by any chance, who stuck up these posters? Oh, you are the famous legate these posters speak of. You would never tell me if it were all true. Anyway, if you want revenge against the woman who stuck them up, you're too late. The guards caught her in the act. And when they saw what was written on the posters, they took her to the barracks. She must be rotting away in jail now. Thank you. And you shouldn't believe those lies. As if you could say anything else. Hello. I'm the bastard murderer from your posters. Oh, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm not responsible for the content of those posters. I had no choice but to stick them up. In a sense, the guard's arrest protected me, but my partner is under lock and key and guarded by armed men who bear the divest livery. They are responsible. They forced me to stick these posters up all around town. They threatened to kill my partner. If you don't stop them, they will kill him. I beg you, free him. I believe you, and I will free your friend if I can. Do you know where the other posters are? I must destroy this nonsense before it creates a riot. No, they only gave me one stack of them. They certainly have more, but I don't know where they're hiding the rest. The men who are holding him must know. Very well. I have no other choice but to free him. Where is he being held? Behind the barracks, along the docks. Please, hurry!
Thank you for freeing me from those murderous clutches. Do you know where my friend is? She went to stick up those horrible posters. She sent me to rescue you. She was imprisoned, but she'll probably get out soon. The presence of these men will prove that she had no intention of causing an insurrection. Oh, you've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I was worried she'd been killed. They were such brutes. I must destroy the rest of those posters. Do you have any idea where those men could have hidden them? Well, I spoke of having a reserve just outside of town. In a small hut, if my memory serves me well. You should go and check. Thank you. And try to avoid the Devesps in the future. They're dangerous. One armor that fits you like a glove. We'll oh, make it's it. you on all Malawi. Come and see.
Mr. Sade, you seem somewhat gloomy. What's troubling you? As you may have heard, the Devesp family has sent a delegation to the island. It's led by the prince's daughter herself. Ah, most curious. And very worrying indeed. But you didn't come all this way in person just to bring me the bad news, I take it? You've read my mind. Knowledge is power. I need all the information you've got. I recovered some documents that Aurelia intended to use against us. I also brought you the wedding contract. Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> yes. A skillful blend of truths and untruths, as is to be expected. I'm afraid, however, this letter from Julia d'Orsay, Constantine's mother, is genuine. But your cousin is not to blame for his mother's folly. It caused him more harm than good. And he was but a child when his brother was killed. But the implication that he's not the prince's son is absurd. You know them both. And you know how much Constantine looks like his father. As for these documents about your mother, poor Livy would never have deceived your father. And furthermore... In any case, I doubt that this information could truly be used against you. The revelations about Constantine are more cause for concern. But since you recovered the evidence, we needn't worry about it being used against us. Providing it's the only copy, of course. I believe so. What do you make of the marriage contract? Is it genuine? Well, the writing is that of a court clerk. But their handwriting all looks the same. It would be difficult to tell if it was truly written by your uncle. As for the seal... Well, I'm almost certain that it is a forgery, but an excellent one at that. That being said, without the seal itself, you'd be hard-pressed to prove it. If we denounce this contract without evidence, everyone will say that it's just an excuse to get out of the wedding. In that case, I need to find that seal. Let's hope Aurelia de Vesp has brought it with her. I'd wager she did. She may want to use it again, if you want to find it. You'll have to get her away from her camp to have a good chance to search her belongings. As I'm supposed to be organizing the princess's arrival, Lady Morange can surely help by sending for her. Thank you, sir. Was there anything else you wish to ask? I must be on my way. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. And tread carefully.